everyone, my name is Wybot, and this is the second in, uh, video in my series of tanking videos. So, I'm going to show you how to tank as a paladin today with my paladin tank, Tabano. So, first off, you want to make sure that Righteous Fury is up. So, that ability generates increased threat. You need to keep that up in order to be a viable tank. Also, you want to make sure that either Blessing of Kings is up, which helps your group do more damage, or you want to make sure that Blessing of Might is up, which increase the mastery of your group. So mastery is a more important spec for a paladin tank, so we'll have that up. So what you want to use in your rotation here when you're just hitting like a boss is you'll want to pull him with either Avenger's Shield, which does a good amount of damage, or you can pull him with Judgment. Those are two ranged abilities. Most other abilities are abilities that are melee abilities. Your main holy power generators are going to be Crusader Strike and Judgment. Your filler abilities are going to be Consecration, Holy Wrath, Avenger Shield whenever it's up because it does good damage, and your talented ability. I have chose Light Hammer, which is an AoE ability because I find that trash pulls tend to be the most difficult thing at this point. When you just have one target that everybody's hitting, it's not as difficult to hold threat with the way the game is right now. So, anyway, I'm going to show you on the target dummy just... Uh, a regular boss rotation. You pull with your Avenger Shield. I'll hit him next with a Judgment, and then a Holy Power, and then while those two are recharging, I'll just use the other abilities. So ideally, you probably want to use those filler abilities in the middle. Once you have three Holy Power, drop it on a Shield of the Righteous. It'll make you take close to half of the damage you normally would from that target for about three seconds. It depends on how much damage reduction is there by how much mastery you have. The more mastery you have, the less damage you take. The other ability you can use is the Eternal Flame, or the uh, Holy Word, I believe is what it's called, when it's not talented. Anyway, that ability, the more Holy Power you have up to a maximum of three Holy Power, it'll heal you for a certain amount. And that amount is buffed up by your mastery as well. So, anyway, let's move on to the two other target dummies here. Actually, let's go to level 80 ones. So, I'll show you the multi-target rotation for them. So, Avenger Shield or Judgment, yet again, to pull them. You put a higher priority on your AoE abilities, and then you use Hammer the Righteous instead to generate Holy Power. That one will hit any target that is around you. And then, also... Avenger Shield hits multiple targets, it's very helpful, you still want to use your Judgment. Both the uh, Hammer of the Righteous and the Crusader Strike, they both put weakening blows on the target, which makes them hit for less. So you want to make sure you're refreshing that as much as you can, regardless of the fight, because it'll help out. The less damage you take, the better tank you are, and the easier it is on your healers. Next, let's take a look at this in a live dungeon environment. Alright, so here we are in the Stormstep Brewery, and I'm uh, pulling this time with my Light's Hammer, and then for the abilities we use, we just use Holy Wrath, Consecrate, Hammer of the Righteous is your primary Holy Power creator, as well as Judgment, and then just use Avenger Shield whenever you can, whether or not the proc is up, and once again, I'd recommend... Uh, using Divine Protection, if the mobs just use any sort of magic damage, it'll reduce that by a good amount. And just whenever you've got enough Holy Power, use your uh, Shield of the Righteous. If you need to heal yourself up, then use Eternal Flame. That can be used with any amount of Holy Power, up to three. Uh, I'd only recommend using it once you hit three, though. You can store up till five once again, so please keep that in mind. You do not have to dump it as soon as you've got three. And just gonna go through the mobs here. They've got lots of threat on them. They're not going anywhere. They're not gonna attack any of the uh, healers or DPS uh, on here unless that's part of their mechanic, which in this case it actually is. I've got an enormous amount of threat on them and they still want to just go and attack other guys because otherwise I guess this would be too easy. But yeah, just cycle through your AoE abilities and you'll take care of them just fine. Alright, so for the last boss here, you just pull with your Avenger Shield, and because I've got a bunch of Holy Power, I dump it on my Shield of the Righteous, 
And then Avenger Shield proc, so I just go ahead and use it first. And that actually gave me a holy power ability by the looks of it. And then I use Crusader Strike, Judgment, and I've got three holy power again. And I'm just cycling through the rotation. It's not that difficult here to keep aggro on a boss. It's about as difficult as keeping it on ads. It's just one target instead. What you do need to be aware of is the specific mechanics of the fight. Because sometimes, if you don't move, you're going to die. So don't stand in the fire, that's something important. In this particular fight, you actually have to go into the bubbles when they show up and uh, make sure that you keep on fighting. So anyway, I'm just dropping my light's hammer there because it'll help with a little bit of extra DPS and threat. And yeah, right here, this guy is doing a mechanic where you have to actually click on those bubbles and then I'm just continuing uh, tanking him in the bubble. And uh, yeah, Avenger Shield procs again, just use that. So. Anyway, I hope you uh, learned a little bit of something. If you needed to get some understanding of how to tank as a paladin, this is just the very basics of the basics. This will let you tank normal mode dungeons, and uh, you should be just fine in normal mode dungeons. They're not too challenging for tanks. And uh, if you want to learn more, please check out icyveins.com. It's an excellent resource for all things tanking, DPS, healing. They've got, it's a very good min-maxing site. Also, Elitist Jerks is an excellent site for min-maxing. There's lots of very good form discussion there that uh, will tell you how to play your character the best. Wowpedia also provides you with a good understanding of the basics and some strategies for tanking as well. And even the Wow forums are still an excellent resource. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.